Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. So, uh, yesterday I uploaded the uh, my top five client side mod pack thing. So now I'm gonna show you guys how to install it. So here I have the five different mods and these three here are the dependencies they need. This is the core for these armor status and status effect HUD. And there's Minecraft Forge and Optifine for the shaders mod. So first the thing we gotta do is to install Forge, but you always, no matter what, anytime you want to install mods or anything, you're gonna want to back up your game. So if you hold the Windows key and press R, it'll open up this run prompt here. And you just want to type in percent app data percent, click OK, and you'll get this screen here. Now you may not have as many folders as I do, or whatever, you just gotta make sure to sort it uh, by name here and open up .minecraft. Now this is where everything is gonna be, but yours won't have the shader packs, mods, and etc. So just in case, because your saves in, are gonna be in here as well, so what you're gonna wanna do is make a new folder out here and call it like something like backups and put your .minecraft in there. Now, start up the Minecraft launcher. And you're gonna have to log in again, so just type in your email or username if you didn't migrate your account yet. Type in your password, log in. And now, see here how it says ready to download and play Minecraft 1.7.4? Well, Forge isn't for 1.7.4, it's for 1.7.2. So you're gonna have to click Edit Profile and for Use Version, select 1.7.2. Now, there isn't much of a difference between 2, uh, 0.2 and uh, 0.4. So you can see here, Minecraft uh, 1.7.3 and 1.7.4, they just added like Twitch streaming and improved realms menus, which we can't use yet and fixed render distance above 8. No, that's not very fixed because the, there's really a lot of lag with that. And a few bugs. So there's nothing actual server sided so anything with 1.7.2 will be able to connect to 3 and 4 servers. So it says ready to download and play 1.7.2 now so we want to do that so it downloads it. You can see the loading bar here once that's full the game will start, and then you just have to close it out. Okay, so it's just about done. It'll finish downloading here in a second. And then we're gonna have to uh, go install the mods, and uh, there'll be links to in the description to every uh, thing you have to download here. And uh, make for Forge, make sure you download the installer, not the universal or any of the other ones. Just make sure you get the latest uh, installer. So now the game is started up here, we can just close out of that. And now we have a new .minecraft folder. We can open that, and you can just see that here. So now, we're gonna run the Forge installer. You gotta make sure it's running with Java. If it isn't, if it doesn't have this icon here, you just wanna open with, and then choose Java Platform SE Binary. And now uh, we want to install Client. Uh, make sure it's to where your .minecraft is, so that's where my current one is saved, as you can see here. And now it'll download the libraries. Now that's done loading, it successfully installed the client profile. So now you can see in here versions, we have 1.7.2 and 1.7.2 Forge. Now, if you didn't already download Minecraft 1.7.2, it would tell you it you need to have played it at least once, so that way it has all the files to install Forge with. So it made its own profile. So now, um, we can just add ourselves a new folder, call it mods, and all you really have to do is take all these, dump them in there. So now all the mods are in there, and we can start up the launcher. And then now you have to uh, go back to edit profile and choose release uh, 1.7.2 Forge, which will be all the way at the bottom. 
So you just click that one, save profile. Um, well, shaders and uh, things like that, they usually take more RAM. So if you do have more RAM to spare, you can add it in here. I'll just uh, allocate about 10 gigs. So you can save profile there and it's ready to update and play Forge. So you play that. And then the game will start up and your mods will be loaded. Now, since you have Forge Mod Loader, it'll take a little while longer to start up. It'll have like a black screen here, then the Mojang logo comes up. And then it'll take about another couple seconds to load. And here we go. Now, there's a warning that Forge is in beta because uh, so many lines of code were changed in 1.7.2 or 1.7.4 that it's going to take them a long time to get them all done. So uh issues will arise and you can ask the uh team to help if you ever run into an error but so far i haven't run into any and you can see that right away the better fonts mod is working you can see the font is different on all the buttons eight mods loaded if you click the mods button we have optifine minecraft coders pack which is built into forge then you got actual forge and then forge again better fonts the uh, core mod for armor status and effect status and voxel map and now if we go into options you can tell also the shaders is uh, hooked up too so now if we click shaders there's not going to be anything here and we can open shaders pack folder here and there's nothing in it now on the site where you download shaders if you scroll down more you'll find shader packs now I already have mine from uh, in here in my backup so I'm just going to take that, shader packs, move that there, and then you could just close out this and this, and you can see that it showed up already. So you can click that, click done, go to single player, create a new world, and you'll have all the different mods. So let's just do a little test here. Make this a little bigger. Uh, let's make the window size a bit bigger. There we go. And now voxel map, the first time you join, you just press Z to hide it, it shows you how to use it. And now you got a nice, beautiful Minecraft world to use. And uh, just get rid of that achievement there. Then, like in the other video, you can just go in here, change all the settings, whatever. And then you can just start playing. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial on how to install my top 5 client sided mods. If you guys could leave a rating, comment, tell me how I did, it would be greatly appreciated. And until next time, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.